In this video I'll show you a second approach to these great calculations involving run, grade and the drop of a line. Just as a memory jogger, a piece of drain pipe, it needs to slope like so, preferably, uniformly. And on a piece of pipe we have a horizontal measurement here, that's the run of a pipe. And the vertical measurement here, how much it drops. And then we have a third measurement here for the length of the pipe, but that's not important at the moment. And uh, we have one more thing with this pipe, just ignore that length, that's why I did it in red. There is a grade, it's a concept of a grade. And I used in my previous videos throughout a ratio and proportion calculation because the ratio of the short side of this triangle and the long side, not the hypotenuse, just the short side and the long side on the triangle is similar to the grade which is also expressed in a fraction like like so, 1 over 50 or, or 1 over 50 or 3 out of 250 or something like that or even a percentage 2%, even a percentage is a fraction, a 2 over a 100. So, because this is a fraction, ratio and proportion naturally lends itself to working with fractions seamlessly, relatively seamlessly. But So, here is an approach too. For this approach to work, you have to keep in mind two facts. One is that the run of a pipe is approximately equal to that wavy, that's not water in the distance, okay? That means approximately equal to the length of a pipe. And in a small building, okay, if you have 50 miles of it or if you have a significant amount of it, it won't work. You can see it in another title called or titled length calculation. So so that's, that's there a fact to keep in mind. And there's one more other fact to keep in mind. It actually, it is very simple. It's going to be a multiplication fact family and a division fact family. So let me illustrate. Say 3 times 5 and I'm intentionally using the dot for multiplication as it is in algebra because we're going to be doing some algebra here. So 3 times 5 is 15 just as 5 times 3 is 15. So that's a multiplication fact family. Those are the factors of the product and that the product and those two numbers are factors of it and the division fact family looks like 15 divided by 3 is 5 and 15 divided by 5 is 3 so that would be a division fact family okay that's from middle school now how it relates to pipe calculations is that you have a couple of formulas that work given that the run is the same as or close enough to the length. You can calculate you can calculate the drop of a pipe by timesing run with grade. And of course, run and grade, it doesn't matter which way you multiply. Grade can be here and run can be there. Just as 3 by 5 is the same as 5 by 3. Okay, so these can trade places, it's the same thing. And grade, grade can be calculated as drop over run and run can be calculated as drop over grade. Now, these do not look like my ratio and proportions in the previous five or six titles, whatever, uh, carefully laid out, but somewhat. This one looks like it, where the drop is always the numerator and the run is always the denom denominator. In, in this one, the drop is also the numerator, so that's where pretty much similarities end. If you want, you can work with these equations. Just plug in the appropriate 
numbers wherever they go and, and work with the appropriate uh, formula. If you like these arrangements, they will be good enough and close enough. However, there's a problem here. Namely, grade is always, always a fraction, okay? So here you're gonna be multiplying a whole number or a decimal with a fraction and you have to be able to handle it. Here, grade is a fraction. So you might as well make a fraction out of it and we are back to the ratio and proportion visual arrangement with this one. And uh, here, again, grade is a fraction, say out of 100 or 250 or whatever. So now you have a number divided by a fraction, a whole number or a decimal divided by a fraction. Welcome to fraction divisions. So I have to be able to solve it and handle it correctly to make these equation works. It's, it's doable if you, if you convert this grade fraction into a decimal everywhere, like two out of 100 is 0 0.02, or three divided by 250, whatever number you get on a calculator. Here, look, I found one. I'm a lucky boy today. 3 divided by 250 equals 0 0.012. So now the fraction problem, you know, you can get rid of the fraction problem by converting it to a decimal, but, but uh, if, uh, if you have 1.04% given, let's see, 1.04, and you divide it by 100, and that has now four decimal digits in it in the answer. So the decimals get longer and longer and longer, and sometimes uh, you might get an infinite repeating decimal, depending on your depending on your number situation. And uh, when, once you get to infinite decimals, uh, you're gonna be truncating infinite decimals, and your final results will be off because you're truncating the infinite decimals. Uh, so you either work with fractions to be more accurate or uh, do ratio and proportion, but this approach to this works. There's nothing wrong with it. It's a perfectly valid option. Hey, if you like memorizing three formulas, go for it. Like I say, it doesn't matter where you learn from. I don't care how you get the final correct answer. Just get it done.